Hello and welcome to Kicked Play Studio Tutorials. Sometimes when you work with World Machine, you want to create a texture that apply additional noise. And it's kind of useful when, for example, you work with a, a future import, maybe in a Minecraft or some other applications, um, and you want to add details. So let's go ahead and we'll look how we can do this. First, right here, as example, we have our on terrain we can go and create a simple mountain by creating radial grid and connect this to the mask of advanced prone let's increase our scale we double time click to open properties we'll just scale slightly so we can have a little bit bigger radial okay if we look there's our very basic shape of the mountain we can modify elevations maybe some other properties but overall there's our mountain okay at this time if we open and render we can see a, a very basic generic kind of mountain going okay to add additional noise we want to create actual silver layers and blend them together and we'll go and use it uh, noise properties so I'm going to create two noises Okay, we'll take it one noise pop up a little bit higher so we can see it and other one was 35 so we'll go maybe about 30 somewhere 29 30 on this one let's also use it two blur and we'll connect them so i don't want just pixels i want them a little bit spread around so on this blur we'll maybe set five and another one's about two or three so let's set two So right here we have a two blurs. Next we want to combine them and we'll go use a combiner for this. Okay, as a combiner mode, we can use it add, which is actually add one on another values, or screen, which work about the same. So let's go screen, pull all the way to 100 percent Many times when you want to preview, you can create uh, overlay view and also for these ones we'll need to use it the colorizer okay and as colorizer I'm going to preload maybe um, desert or let's see sandstone probably will work better so we can connect to colorizer overlay and this way so in that case we can preview our mode when we're generating so let's create it and you can see we create a very interesting very basic kind of shape you can of course go and modify by working a little bit more with noise add reduce noise and you know what let's do this let's go ahead we'll take overlay log preview for this so we can modify it okay we'll go also add noise and we can reduce a little bit noise on one okay We'll go select another noise and reduce the even more click ok let's render and you can see we have a very nice sand like look of course we can see some pattern coming and we'll look in a second how we can rework it just a little bit on those patterns so let me go fix a little bit of them there you go so but overall here we have it a very basic noise look like a sand noise we can apply in some other areas we can apply additional effects for example for our noise primary inputs we can modify them by using additional generators you know, and kind of reapplied okay, creating different ways Okay, connecting right here you can see add noise to this our blur and let's go back to our combiner preview but again in this case we want to use it that to overlay for our noise to go over so right here we create our sand or some noise next what I want to do is overlay them with combiner 
So we'll go ahead, create new combiner. Okay, right here. Okay. Go select from this combiner inside, and we can select our mount. Okay, let me unlock it. You'll notice because our preview and combiner, it does not give it us overlay view. We want to go bring in. That's better. So you can see we have a nice overlay with additional textures on our mountain. Of course, to combine those and blend those details better, we want to use it a natural filter. We'll go use it erosion for this. Okay, so let's go open. And for this, we'll just use channel. Little bit more heavy. And if you have a hard time previewing this, remember you always can go lock preview to this channel. On this case, when you modify it, it does not change. So now you can see we can modify. We just move some areas, add rock hardness. And right here you can see we modified add some nice sand effect to our mountain. Some this extra noise that can translate a little bit more in cubics or other things. So overall here is a kind of past drill just to showing how to add additional noise and combine to add some kind of like sand or grain look to your terrain. Thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please remember this dust on the web is www.geekatplay.com.